We are at Morrow State Park. We're kind of picking up where we left off on section 12 of the Arkansas Overland Route. Uh, there is another section, be section 13, that ends here at this park. It's a really nice uh, state park. And you can see the cabins that's up on the stilts over there. And we do have another video about this park on our channel, so we're not going to spend a lot of time here. Uh, we just stopped here because this is going to be uh, in our overland route in case people want to come stay here or use the facilities. So it's just a quick stop for us, and we are going to be on our way. We did hit one uh, dirt road before we got back to where we had left off on 12. And uh, I don't know that I'm gonna, I may upload it, I don't know. But as you can see, the it was muddy. I had to take our time to get to there. And uh, it looked like a bunch of logging trucks may have been using it too. So that's why was, the road was so tore up. But it was muddy. But we're gonna continue on the trek. In this video, we are starting back on the Arkansas Overland Route that we are mapping and sharing with onyx off-road app the first few pictures in this video i think the first five was a little short road that we found on the way back to the overland route it was very muddy and that's where we got most of the mud on the jeep that you'll see in the picture when we reach morrow state park the other pictures after the first five on the gravel roads that is section 13 going to Morrow State Park. Some of that section is pavement. Uh, undoubtedly, I forgot to hit the record button on the camcorder, so those pictures are all I got of that. And then we pull up into Morrow State Park and begin our overland route from there. All in all, uh, there's going to be several more sections to this trail. I think we wound up with like 27 sections uh, to the best of my memory right now. Uh, so there's a lot more here. Uh, there is a lot of dirt and gravel roads mixed in with some pavement. It's just kind of hard uh, to get a big stretch without some pavement in it somewhere. But there are long stretches of dirt roads. Some of them are very rough to where you're creeping at low speed. Some of them you can throw up some dust because you can get moving pretty fast on them. They're actually smoother than some of the paved roads. Uh, you know, the terrain is mixed. You're gonna run to in, into a little bit of everything. Now this is not a off-road route. This is a, what I call an overlanding route. Uh, the worst you're going to come across on this route is going to be some very muddy roads if it's been raining and the roads are wet. There will be some areas that can be flooded. Uh, depending on your vehicle, you will either have to turn around and reroute, which there will be roads that you can reroute uh, with. Uh, especially if you're using the Onyx app, it shows the road, so you will find a way around. Uh, if your vehicle has the ground clearance and the capability, then you can go through some of these flooded areas, which we did. 
uh, our Cherokee Trailhawks limited to, I think uh, with our lift, about 24 inches of water. And we did hit that limit uh, through one uh, area, big, pretty long stretch too. And once we come across that area, uh, we rounded a curve to another flooded area, and, and if we would have went in there, it would have just swallowed the Cherokee. So we turned around, of course, and went back through the first hole and rerouted an alternate route. We did come across some closed gates in this route. Uh, that's just going to be natural. The area that we're in is flood land. Uh, they actually even flood some of the areas for hunters. Uh, and they'll shut the gate if the road's flooded and before they reopen the gate they will inspect the road and make sure that it's safe to uh, travel on. Uh, but this is going to be one of the best routes I've been on in a long time. We really enjoyed it. We stayed at Haas State Park which is an awesome state park which you'll see later on in this route. Uh, you have your options as far as camping. There's dispersed camping. There's uh, two state parks. One is on the west side and one is on the east side. Uh, other little camps, there's just little, like I said, little dispersed campsites. There's just plenty of camping along this route depending on when you're tired. And, you know, just look at the map. Onyx has a lot of these campsites marked on their map already. So I don't need to share a bunch of pins because like I said Onyx already has them shown on the map. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's just get on with some of this video and I'll talk some more about it as we go.
let's talk a little bit about why I decided to map a overlanding route in southern Arkansas. Right now, and as you see in our own channel, a lot of people go into the Washita National Forest area and the Ozarks. And you don't see a whole lot of YouTube channels or videos in other parts of Arkansas. So I thought I would head east in the southern part and see what was there. And as I was exploring, I found a few areas. And of course, the Washita River runs through there. So I thought, you know, uh, it looks like there's a bunch of dirt roads in that area. And I think I can get all the way over to the Louisiana line along the Washita River uh, on dirt and gravel. And most of this trip, most of this route is on gravel and dirt roads. And like I said, there, there is some pavement. And like going over on the southern end, you have to cross back over the Washita River. So, of course, that is a, a paved bridge there uh, to go over. But it worked out really well because uh, all the way from Highway 82, where I did the first section that I called Falcon bottoms back roads uh, that's where i started this route and then went from there to poison springs wma which has a lot of roads to drive and a lot of dispersed camping to choose from and uh, there's a free shooting range there so uh, you do have to get your permit online it's free uh, i put links to the permit website uh, in my video description on that part of the trail but that is just an awesome place to explore you've got white oak lake just uh, up from there white oak state park so if you don't like dispersed camping and you're doing this route you can stay at white oak state park if you want to you know do these part of the trails explore poison springs wma and uh, stay in the area and head out the next morning so uh, after you leave the Poison Springs area, you cut through more sections of Arkansas. And of course, most of those sections also are dirt and gravel roads with a few pieces of pavement, you know, in between. And that goes all the way to a campground that's on the Washita River, which would make another great stopping point uh, to camp. You know, this all depends on how much time you have to do this route. Uh, me and Ashley did the first part of the route on a Saturday uh, all the way to the Poison Springs area and then we went back home and then this last weekend we went back out to finish the route. So we left early uh, Friday morning and headed out. We reached Morrow State Park. Uh, Section 12 ended in our first stretch that we went and recorded and there was one more section, section 13, that actually leaves from section 12 and goes into Morrow State Park. And it is also a lot of gravel road. And then you reach Morrow State Park. And uh, this would be another great place to stay and refresh before you start the route. But like I said, we left Friday morning and we were done with the route by Saturday evening. Uh, doing the last part, which I named the Trailhawk Loop, which is part of this Arkansas Overland Route. So, the beginning of the route is Falcon Bottom Back Roads, keyword being Falcon. I named this loop that we're on now Trailhawk Loop, keyword Trailhawk. I uh, also, when Onyx gets all this uploaded, if you look at the map, the aerial of the map, you will see a hawk. The roads actually draw out what I call a hawk. It may not be a really pretty hawk, but there is a hawk drawn out by the route, okay? So, 
we also did all of this route in our 2021 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. So, keyword, Trailhawk. So, th that was my idea behind this uh, route. You know, I said it's all done in our Cherokee Trailhawk. And we did get kind of a, a hawk drawn out in some of the route. And uh, there's even an Eagle Lake that you're going to go to. Eagle, Eagle Landing Lake. So I thought it was pretty cool that I got all these birds uh, themed in this route. And uh, I'm really happy with that. The section... 14 is going to end at this stop sign. And I believe that's 160 that's running across there. Uh, the section from Morrow State Park to here actually draws out the back and top portion of the hawk's head. As soon as we cross this road, we're going to start working on the hawk's beak. And this leads toward the turn where we're, we would turn to go to Eagle Landing Lake.